One thing that I've learned from COVID is that life is unpredictable. And I think everyone was shocked about, you know, the lockdowns that we had. And it was almost, it was, it was crazy to a lot of people because we, we had never faced anything like that in our lifetime. And it, for me, it just showed like the uncertainty that we have in our future. And I think that should be a reminder to everyone that tomorrow's not promised and there's no better time than now. Put your hand in my hand, darling, say go. Keep your eyes on the horizon, stay gold. All I need are your eyes, you're my arrow. Now we're running into the wild. I think I like exploring for the same reason that everyone else does, whether it's to get out, uh, to meet new people, to see new places to experience new things, or maybe it's just to get away from society. I think it's a culmination of like all those things that keep me curious and keep me wanting to explore and, and see the world. The benefits of exploring are endless. I think a lot of the times it can get you out of your own head, especially nowadays with social media and a lot of the things um, that are making us feel down, I think getting out and exploring um, really puts you into perspective and I think makes us feel a lot more connected. Watch me, watch me, watch me. Okay, it's just not gonna happen ever again. Oh! On a difficult hike, I'm definitely pushing myself. I can go into it thinking, I can do this, I'm gonna come out the end of it strong and feeling accomplished. But when I'm going through it, um, you know, a lot of emotions arise, a lot of challenges make me feel small and make me feel like I might not finish the challenge. I feel exhausted and I feel like I'm at my boyfriend Keone reminds me just to take one step at a time and that always helps me get out of my head, stop looking at the finish line and to just just focus on what's in front of me. I've learned that if you are like the tortoise in the race, um, then even though you're going slow and you know just taking one small step at a time that you can you can get really far just by having that mindset. I think there are a few more challenging bits about being outdoors. You are reminded of all the things that we take for granted on a daily basis. And to me, I think that it, it's totally worth it. But at the same time, I think for a lot of people, it could be almost like a culture shock. We're tired, we're exhausted, our feet, are in dire need of a massage. We're going backpacking, we're going car camping, and we're in different states. We're in cold climates, we're in hot climates. It makes sense to have reliable gear, and I think that is like one of the biggest things that can really make or break um, a fun adventure. To do that and to prove to yourself that you're confident enough, you're brave enough, you are enough to travel and put yourself out there. I think the world will reward you for that. And I think it's really important to remember that you have an open canvas and the world is your playground, as cheesy as it sounds. You can, you can really make your life your own. One thing that COVID has showed all of us is just the unpredictability of life. And that in itself should be a reminder that, you know, tomorrow may not be here. Tomorrow isn't promised. If you're looking for a sign, this is it right here. Just drop what you're doing, start planning, whatever it takes, you know, go on that road trip, go on that solo trip, do what you want because 
tomorrow's not promised. I'm